guys it's crystal here i'm back with another review video for you guys and quick disclaimer in the beginning of this video this is a sponsored video because i received these products for free from wishtrend.com they came out with a brand new line and sent it to me instantly and of course i am going to give my 100 percent honest review over these products so without further ado the product or line that they just came out is from their i'm from line and it's their fig line and there's supposed to be three products however the third product which is the essence I broke yesterday. I dropped it by accident and it shattered and I can't use it anymore. All the products spilled onto the floor and it's gone forever. But I was able to try it for two weeks, so all is not lost. So yeah, I'm a little sad that I broke it, but you know, like I'm glad I was able to get two weeks in before my clumsy butt actually dropped it earlier. So some way, somehow, it was bad luck, but also good luck. I don't know, but I'm just gonna talk about the first product, which I'm gonna go down the fig line of how it would be in the skincare. So the first product I want to review is their Fig Cleansing Balm. This is 30 US dollars on wishtrend.com and it has 100 milliliters of product inside. This is a cleansing balm that is made for all skin types and it's made up of fig and 7.8% of oil water to gently cleanse away all of the impurities from the skin. It also aids in blackhead care and is rich in vitamins and polyphenol which fully hydrates the skin after the cleansing process. So how you would use this product according to wishtrend's website is that you would scoop out how much much you need and apply it all over to your face and you're supposed to wait 10 to 15 minutes before you massage it gently massage it into your skin and then take a little bit of lukewarm water and apply it to the face so that the balm turns into a cleansing oil further massage it and then rinse it off with lukewarm water i will say that when i did use this product i did not leave it on my skin for 10 to 15 minutes i didn't know that's what you're supposed to do because the past cleansing bombs that i've ever used never really said to a leave it on your skin for 10 to 15 minutes. So I was thrown off by these instructions a little bit. So that's why in the first impression clip that I will show very shortly, I did not wait. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of like, it threw me off. I don't think cleansing bombs usually are left on your face. I don't know, just me. But this, this one is quite interesting. But anyways, without me rambling, I'm gonna go ahead and roll my clip of my first impression of the cleansing balm. First time using the cleansing balm. Really nice spatula. This is what it looks like. Really light pinkish sherbet. I think I grabbed way too much, oops. Okay, I'm just gonna put some in the palm of my hands. This much. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my face. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead, get a little bit of water. Just to emulsify the oil. Okay, and then this is my face. Most of it came off. You can tell some of the mascara and a little bit of the eyeliner is still on here. Um, solely because I don't think I put enough cleanser on my eyes. I dropped some on the floor, so yeah, that, that, that happened. But for the most part, it removed a lot of the makeup. And my lips has some issues removing some of the makeup off my lips. So. I would give it maybe it remove 90% of my makeup. It doesn't remove completely all of it. Uh, and my mascara was waterproof and it feels like it is off. So it did remove waterproof makeup, very gentle. It smells pretty strong. Not a big fan of the scent. Um, it doesn't smell bad. It's just too strong for my taste, but my skin doesn't feel stripped or anything. The moisture is still there and yeah, it's still pretty soft, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep using the cleanser for two weeks as well uh, to remove makeup and we'll see how I feel afterwards. Thanks! Okay, so now that you guys know my first impression of the cleansing balm, let's talk about my impression after two weeks of trying the cleansing balm out. And of course, we're gonna talk about the pros or what I enjoyed about the cleansing balm. 
The first thing I want to know is the scent. Always got to be the scent because that's usually the first thing you notice when you open up some kind of skincare, some kind of makeup, whatever. And I honestly genuinely like the way this product smells because it smells really really fruity and sweet and I kind of like those kind of scents so I really really like the way the cleansing balm smelled. Some cleansing balms that I've tried in the past straight up just smell like chemicals so I'm glad this wasn't one of them. In terms of the actual formula on my skin, I noticed that it left my skin feeling really moisturized, really hydrated and super soft. It didn't feel like moisture was being sucked out of my skin in any form of way. It felt like even though I rinsed the cleansing balm off, the moisture like moisturizing effect of this cleanser was still on my face which is great. It was also non-irritating some cleansing balms sting my eyes a little bit and this one did not. I was not afraid to go near my eyes with the cleansing balm at all so it was really good that it didn't sting or feel irritating and it did melt away makeup and waterproof makeup. I would say it melted about like 90% of the makeup off and most importantly it did not break me out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the cons or what I didn't really like about the product. And there's like only two points. First point is I'm gonna bring up, I'm gonna say it, the scent. It's not that it smells bad, but it's that it's very strong. And some people just don't like how strong skincare smells sometimes because it, it's like going on your face and your nose is like right there and it just could give you a headache or whatnot. I didn't really mind that much about this, how strong it smelled, but my little sister was like, it's too strong. So it, it's gonna vary between people, but I did go ahead and put it in the gons because some days I felt like it was a little too strong and some days I was able to tolerate it. So it's kind of a give and take. And the last thing I wanna say is that, like I mentioned in the pros, it removes about 90% of your makeup, but there's still that 10%, in my opinion, that was left over. And usually that was my eye makeup. And I can see why, because I tightline underneath my lash line on the top lid with my eyeliner. And sometimes that gets a little bit hard to remove. So I totally understand why it was so hard to remove, but there's other cleansers that I've tried that were able to do it. And this one was just having a little bit difficulty with that. So, I just went ahead and just put that in the cons. All in all, would I recommend this product? Um, yeah, I actually would. There's a, I think it fares well with the other competitors as well and it really leaves your face moisturized and hydrated, which is like a huge plus, especially for any of my dry skin friends out there that wear makeup and sometimes feel like cleansing balms strip away moisture of your skin. I would look into this cleansing balm because it did not do that at all for me. and. It left my skin feeling so, so soft that I was really impressed. So I would look into this if you have really dry skin or you have rough skin as well. Um, this is a pretty good cleansing balm. Now moving on to the next product, which is unfortunately the fig boosting essence that I broke. So I don't have it on me right now, but this product is 35 US dollars. It has 150 milliliters of product inside. It is meant for all skin types, and this product contains 62.7% fig extract, meant to provide moisture by penetrating deep into the skin. It boosts the skin to help absorb products for the next step in your skincare. And through the NMF peptide and amino acid, it forms a moisture barrier for the skin to provide full hydration and anti-aging, antioxidant effects, which is from the fig extracts and polyphenol. So how you would use this product is pretty self-explanatory if you are not shy of using essence. And I'm sorry if my face is getting washed out. I need to fix these settings. The sun is like going in and out of the clouds. So anyways, for me personally, I used the essence both morning and night, and I used it right after cleansing. When I was using this essence, I wasn't using any toner or anything because I really wanted to try out the full formula of the essence. So I didn't try the toner or anything like that, but typically if you do use toner, you would use it right after toner. But uh, I put three to four drops into my hands, rubbed my hands together a little bit, and then just like did this gently and slowly so it gave my skin a chance to absorb the product and then when I got all of the product off my hands and it's all on my face I started to pat it some more into my skin so that my skin absorbed it further so I'm gonna go ahead and just roll the clip of my first impression of the essence Okay. 
thin water and it, there's no scent to it. So this is what it looks like absorbed into my skin. Absorbed pretty fast, mm, pretty hydrating, very lightweight. My skin does feel pretty soft right now. I'm just really surprised that I absorbed this fast. Okay, so now that you guys know my first impression of the essence, let's go ahead and talk about my two week impression with it. And as always, we're starting with the pros. And the first thing I wanna mention is the scent. <laughs> so there's actually little to no scent with this essence, which is great because some essences uh, really have a strong smell and it lingers because it's on your face. And you don't rinse it off, you leave it on your face. So I was really glad to know that this product had like barely any smell to it. And like the cleansing balm, it's super moisturizing and super hydrating. Not only that, it was so fast at absorbing into my skin. I was actually really surprised because it looks like water when you pour it into your hands, but when you actually feel it, you know it's thicker than water. And for the fact that it absorbed so fast into my skin, it was very, very impressive. On top of it being really fast, absorbing it didn't really hinder any products that are supposed to go after the essence so like sometimes products that just stay on your skin and like doesn't fully absorb to your skin and then you put the next product on even you wait like two minutes it's still on your skin and then you put the next product on it like just feels like you're layering products and it just sits there and sometimes feels heavy with this it never did that so in the terms that it was talking about uh that it's fast absorbing and it helps absorb other products into the skin faster as well i really believe that because my skin didn't feel clogged or heavy at all um with like layers of skincare products on top of the essence and to bounce off of that point it's very very lightweight really gentle it wasn't irritating at all and it left my skin feeling really smooth super soft plump and glowy like i just really liked my complexion after using the essence and last but not least it did not break me out so nice so much like the cleansing balm, I only have two things that I didn't really enjoy about the essence. And the first thing I want to mention is that it's a little slimy. Uh, the consistency was very odd for me because it was so slimy. I'm so used to essences being a little thick and a little sticky, so it threw me off. It's not completely bad, you can live with it, but if I had to pick something that I didn't really enjoy about the essence, it would have to be the slimy consistency. The second thing I want to talk about um, that I didn't really enjoy about the product is that it's a little, it's great for hydration and moisture. However, if you live in humid climates, uh, however, if you live in humid climates, I, I don't know, it might be a little bit tougher on you because from my experience when it got humid here in Texas the essence felt heavier and it felt oilier and just like made my face look and feel greasier so I don't think it suits humid climates that well in my personal opinion I could be wrong some of you guys might really like the super dewy look so it's up to you but um, my personal experience and personal opinions I didn't really like this product in humid climate so all in all, would I recommend this essence? I actually would. I really like the essence because it was so hydrating and so moisturizing. And I really liked the way my skin looked after using the essence every time. And it didn't feel like my skin started getting dehydrated throughout the day. I think it did a good job at keeping my skin hydrated and moisturized the entire day. And on top of that, like, the absorption was so nice and the fact that my skin the remaining skincare products in the rest of my routine just fits in so nicely also is like a huge benefit for me and it just made me really really enjoy the essence so honestly i'm really sad that i dropped and broke it because it was a really well-rounded essence we are now in the home stretch and the last product is this one right here this is the fig scrub mask and this is 32 us dollars it has 120 grams of product inside the scrub mask is meant for all skin types and contains 1.2 percent fig powder and black sugar to gently remove the dead skin cells to make way for new skin cells and clear skin this scrub mask is a double exfoliator that softly dissolves dead skin cells while the black sugar works to remove impurities through the scrubbing effect 
Now, how you would use this product is that I would not use it more than twice a week in my personal opinion, but it is up to you how you would do it. It's normally how many times you exfoliate normally, but I use this product uh, twice a week. And after cleansing and with a dry face, I scooped out the product, the mask, and I applied it all over my face. And then I left it on for 10 to 15 minutes, which is what the instructions are saying. And then after 10 to 15 minutes, you gently start rubbing it a little bit on your skin to help exfoliate and then you rinse it off with lukewarm water. So normally that's how you would use it, very similar to other scrub masks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and roll my first impression of the product. massage it and then rinse it off with lip warm water so I'll see you back in 10 minutes so this is 10 minutes so after 10 minutes you gotta massage it into your skin before rinsing it off so I'm going to rinse it off gently because the granules um, are quite small but they kind of feel thick or sharpish I don't know if that makes sense that it can create a little bit of microdermabrasions into the skin so make sure you're doing it gently in circular motions. So this is after rinsing it off and I think you can already tell that my skin looks really bright and it's super, super soft and smooth. Um, it wasn't really irritating when the mask was on. It just sits on your face and just, that's all it does is sit. So there's no like refreshing feeling or any irritation or burning sensation or tingling sensation. Um, when you do scrub it in, the grains are really, really small. So like if you add too much force, of course that can cause some like tear, wear and tear off your skin. So really, really gentle is important, but I like how fine and small the grains were because bigger grains tend to create more irritation on my skin. So I didn't feel any irritation, especially when I started to kind of like uh, massage it onto my skin to push out the dead skin cells. So I really like that the grains were really small and like easy to move around. And so far, I. I like how my skin looks, honestly. Sometimes with exfoliation, my skin is really red afterwards, but that's not the case with this. So this is what my face looks like the night after the scrub. Still hydrated and soft. No irritation. Okay, so now that you guys saw my first impression of the fig scrub mask, let's go ahead and talk about my two week impression. And like I said, I used it twice a week. So I, based, I only used it four times. And I do have some pros, some cons for this. So if you're ready, let's talk about it. Um, the first thing is the pros, of course, what I liked about the fig scrub mask. So what I liked is that the grains inside the mask is very, very fine. There's some scrub masks that I have used a long time ago and the grains are really big and it threw me off because that can cause microdermal abrasions into your skin. And don't get me wrong, even the small fine scrubs can do the same thing if you are very aggressive and harsh so gentle is like the key to like scrub masks but i like that it was small and fine because it didn't feel overbearing compared to like bigger grains like it says it exfoliates your skin and if not once twice so it did its job in terms of exfoliating and on top of that it's still moisturizing and hydrating even though it's exfoliating your skin so if you haven't figured it out by now the fig line of I'm From's line, it's like super hydrating and moisturizing and it has a lot to do with the fig and the polyphenol and things like that. So I think hydration and moisture is very, very important in terms of skincare, no matter what skin type you have. So it's really nice that the scrub mask make sure that your skin is still hydrated and moisturized even after rinsing it off. It also left my skin feeling really, really, really soft and smooth and glowing and there was not really any stinging or tingling sensation either so that's a plus i think for me though i think my sister i had my sister try it and she had a little bit of tingling but it wasn't like stinging or hurting her in any way just a little bit of tingling but i thought it was odd because normally i would experience those moving on to the cons or what i didn't really like about this scrub mask is that 
the scent. I hate the way this product smells. I don't know why. I think it smells like fig, peanut butter, and something else. I don't know. It's just weird. I'm really bad at explaining scents, and I just really don't like the way this fig scrub mask smells. And I think my sisters, both of them, they were like smelling it, and they were like, it's, it's okay. The smell's not that bad. So it, it is a personal preference. But for me personally, I don't like the way this scrub smells. And every time I use it, I'm just like, ugh. But you know, it's like, it's bearable. Now, the second thing I want to talk about that I didn't really like is the black sugar grains. The whole purpose of a scrub mask is to have grains in it anyways. But me, I have never gotten along with black sugar scrubs or like scrub masks in general. So when I first tried the product, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. But then the more I used it, the more I realized, yeah, my skin really hates brown sugar or black sugar or great like a, like physical forms of exfoliate so i actually did not enjoy like the further down the line i did not enjoy the process of the scrub mask no matter how gentle i was it just still bothered my skin and bothered me and because of that it made me break out the very next day every time i used the scrub mask and i know it's this product because my skin was actually clearing up until i started using this a scrub mask and I don't know if it has something to do with maybe my skin was purging because of this scrub mask but when I look back at my history with scrub masks my skin has never liked scrub masks so I wasn't really surprised that I broke out from this product and the last thing I want to talk about that I didn't really enjoy about the scrub mask is that every time after I use this product and I wake up my nose is super oily and because like I said I use it two days a week on the days I don't use it my nose isn't that oily when I wake up it's always right after the day after that I use the scrub mask so I know it's the scrub mask and I don't I can't tell or know why it does what it does but my nose just gets really oily after using the scrub mask and it gets annoying for me because i really hate my nose getting oily but honestly like i i just never had a good history with scrub masks so i don't hate on this product or anything like that but me personally if you're similar to my skin where you break out every time you use a scrub mask or a brown sugar mask you know which one i'm talking about the most famous one um then I don't really recommend this product because my skin reacted the same way with those past scrubs in terms of breakouts. The glow, like the glowiness, the smoothness, and the 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 softness is like so nice, but it's not worth it for breaking out for me personally. If you have never had issues with a scrub mask, you had never you never had problems with the brown sugar scrubs, and you actually love the brown sugar scrub masks from you know where I'm talking about, uh, then I do recommend this for you because this is actually really really nice um, in a way. It just doesn't work out for my skin but I know that my sister actually really liked the scrub mask and she liked the brown sugar mask from the past as well so uh, this worked really really well in her favor so yeah so that's basically all three products Woo, we made it um, out of all three of these which one I recommend uh, that I really like the most. I loved the essence the most. If I have to pick one of the products, the essence is my absolute favorite out of the entire line of these. Solely because I don't use cleansing balms as much as I used to because I am lazy and I think cleansing oils are really, really easy. Like I highly recommend the essence. And then the cleansing balm is like my second favorite. And this is not my favorite at all. To be honest, not my favorite at all. I do like the way my skin feels smooth though and soft, but it's just not worth it for the breakouts. So I know that each of these products are perfect for all skin types. I think it really suits uh, dry and rough skin the most. I think it's like would be perfect and ideal for all my dry skin friends out there. So I highly recommend you guys check out their fig line. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video up here. I hope that answers some questions. I hope that helped a lot of you guys out. But if you have any questions at all, some things you're still confused about, leave them in the comment section down below. I will try my best to answer all of your questions. And if you found this video really, really, really helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.